Hi everyone, it's me, Natty here, and I'm coming at you with another challenge. But today, I have a very special guest, and you might recognize him as the brand ambassador for Fitway, also as a fitness influencer on Thai Top Fitness YouTube channel. He is also a prolific MC and host for multiple MMA events all around the kingdom. Everybody, please help me in welcoming Mr. Mark Abbott. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. So deep, ha. Well, because you're a fitness guru, what do you know about bugs that we should know? That they're really good for you, apparently, and they're a really new way of eating protein in a sustainable way. As everyone knows, that there's a big problem with the consumption of meat and the the effects that it has on the environment. So people are now looking to insects and bugs because. Not only are they very sustainable in the way they're farmed, but also they actually have all the essential amino acids in one hit, which is very difficult to get from plant proteins. The problem is, it's a tough sell, right? Because not many people want to be eating bugs. So right. that's, that's kind of the problem right now. Right? Have you ever tried any bugs before? I've had one or two bugs before, but I definitely haven't been involved in any bug challenges, so I'm not too sure what I'm in for. Right. Well, we're about to show him what he's in for. So let's start off with our first dish, which is the larvae. I don't like the sound of first dish. There's gonna there's gonna be multiple dishes. Yes. Right? So I have altogether three dishes for Mark and myself to try. This is my first time eating any of these bugs as well, and of course one special dessert dish. Also, because this is a challenge, Mark. We are not allowed to spit out any food during the challenge. Okay, sounds good. And are they supposed to be this color? Because I mean, greeny yellow is that? <laughs> if you're gonna eat a bug, you're kind of hoping there'd be a nice roasty brown color, right. or something like that. But a, a greeny yellow color doesn't seem the most appetizing. Well, it does look very natural. Let's just put it that way. That's how they probably look like when they're in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, okay. ladies first. Yes, ladies first. Also, here you go. Oh, wow. Thank you. Because I'm nice. That, that's so polite of you. Yes. Uh, are, we doing, are we doing the whole sort of sitting in a restaurant eating or are we going hands in? Let's go hands in. How go about that? Go hands in. Let's All do right. a bug's cheers. Cheers. I'll have to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> nah. No? Nah. nah. Yep. Taste of dirt. Dirt? Like mud. Like, like dirt. Like I don't know if that's like psychosomatic, like because I know they came from the dirt. I'm, I've created the flavor of dirt in my mouth. I don't know, but I'm not enjoying that one. I have to say, I actually think I bit into sand. I'm not joking. So yeah, I think there is a little bit of natural soil going on. Maybe more nutrients in here. It also tasted a little bit like potato. For me, this is probably like a 6.5 out of 10. How about you? So the scale is one is that you want to just spit it out right away, and ten is like fabulous. I want to have this every day. Oh wow! So you're going towards the you're going to have it quite frequently at six point five. It's not bad. It's actually not bad. It's potatoes. It's potato chips. The Thai style potato chips. I'm gonna go with the four, four, in the sense that I'm nowhere near wanting to spit it out. But if we're putting sort of ten at delicious, then I'm assuming six or seven <laughs> or eight would be like a staple part of my diet and, and I couldn't ever see myself waking up on a on a Saturday morning and just I putting, some of, the, uh, putting <laughs> some of these next to my toast instead of bacon. I, I couldn't see that. So, um, right. Yeah, not, not, not so good. I'll have some water. Okay, let's bring out the second dish. So for our second dish, we have dun, 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 dingly. Uh, or crickets. Crickets. Dingly dum. So they're black crickets. They're black crickets. They, they, yeah, they don't look good. They look like if you watch a horror movie and someone like like a mummy open their mouth and these things like <laughs> that's what you would see, you know. As we're being so polite, uh, there you go. Oh, thank you very much. Um, I like how you gave me one with the long legs, like yeah, a sexy it's a, cricket. Yeah, look at that. So, oh wow. <laughs> All right, like, cheers. Cheers on the head. Way better than the first one. If anything, these kind of taste like chicken skin to me you know like how thai people love to deep fry their chicken skin yeah this tastes like that to me it does oh that second one not nah, not nah, mm. no there's something in that one <laughs> <laughs> there's something inside it maybe there's eggs or something oh wow no that, oh no the first one is really good the second one is <laughs> no i set myself up and i didn't i was like oh wow that one's actually really that was it i'll have another one to find out 
Yeah. The balance. You have to find a median in this one. Wait, so Mark, would you say that this is ketogenic? So keto is obviously it's your whole diet in, in, in the day, right? So it's very, very low carbohydrate, it's very, very low to zero. Um, and then it's actually moderate protein. It's not actually high protein. So a lot of people they think they're on a ketogenic diet, mm -hmm. but they're not if the protein is too high. Oh really? Yeah, oh, so really? one of the if your whole diet throughout the day was really high in protein, then actually it wouldn't be a ketogenic diet. But if the uh, protein wasn't too high, it would be ketogenic. So this could be part of a ketogenic diet. Okay, so I gotta find out the the, the, the happy medium. Mm, this one was brilliant. That one almost mm. tasted like bacon. That was really good. So I think that second one that had something inside it. I don't know what it was. I, was like, I, I think you got to think like what 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 has crawled inside another dead insect? <laughs> oh God! Right, Mark. and I just ate that. I'm sure there was something else inside. It wasn't. Mm. But the second one was great. Right. So Mark, how would you rate the ding beans? That's a good one. Um, mm, visually, not 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 the best. Flavor wise, if you were just sort of sitting down and just having a drink with a friend and just not looking at them while you're eating them, I I'll, I'll go with an eight. They were pretty eight. good. They were pretty good. Pretty good. For me as well, eight. I would say solid eight. There you go. Try them out. So for our third dish, we have takapan. So grasshoppers. Yeah. It's actually quite interesting the word takapan in Thai both means grasshopper and praying mantis, which I always find a little bit confusing because. They're really different, in my opinion. You know, really? one, one the praying mantis is this cool thing. It's gonna, and then you got these, which are very similar to crickets, but the inferior mantis. To me, these look better right. than the crickets looked. What do you think? I think they look more majestic, if I could even use that word, because they have like longer legs. They have like the whole I don't so, armor sorry, sorry, going. That on. looks majestic to you. <laughs> well, not if you drop one of their right. legs. <laughs> Maddie's standards of what looks majestic are, are not really what my standards of majestic would be. Okay, you know what? I'll give you one that looks majestic. Let, let me let me I find think I one. pulled out. I think I the best one. No, look, look at uh, this that, one. That, look what this. I'm one. still not going with majestic, Maddie. I'm still okay, not going fine, with majestic. Fine. Maddie go. has that I one has high majestic standards. I have high standards. Wow. You know. All right. Cheers. Cheers. That's the best one. Mm. That's the best one. Like pork scratchings. <laughs> yeah. Tap mo. Tap mo. Pork rind, right? Yeah. We in England we call them pork scratchings. Oh, okay. I, I actually like these. Oh, you do. I, I would actually eat these on the scale of of one to ten. I, I'm gonna give these. I'm gonna go and say nine. I would I would actually choose to eat these. Wow. These. I mean, they don't look the best, but they're actually really good. Right. I'm gonna have another one. I, I'm I'm actually sold. I actually these are actually pretty good. <laughs> I'm happy. At least you like one of them. Mm. Let's go on to the last dish. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now come to the final dish. It is our dessert dish. Are you ready? Dessert. So I'm expecting sweet. I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll see. Now, I did cheat a little bit. I did say it's a bug challenge, but this last dish is not quite exactly a bug, but it was in the same cart as the other bugs. So I just picked it because it looked kind of interesting. Okay. And it is... Ta-da! Ah, uh, those are frogs, right? They are tiny green frogs, yes. Ah, uh, they, they don't look good. Oh, you can see the bowels hanging out. Look at that. No. That's, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, goodness. That, do we, can we zoom in on that? That is unbelievable. I don't know why I did this to myself. It's huge. It's the biggest one as well. It's the biggest one. So I think the biggest <laughs> one with which is guts are hanging out. <laughs> Uh, all, right. all right, so what are we doing? Are we, I mean, oh, look at that. Come on, get, 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 a, get a one that's a little bit bigger. Are we going for, like, eating it by the leg? And Let's then the arm, or are you just getting the whole thing tucked in and, and one limb at a time, right? So we'll, we'll go French style with the frog's legs. Okay, is that how the French do it? Okay. Well, they eat the frog's legs. They don't eat, they definitely don't eat them like this. All right, cheers. Oh, we made them kiss. They kiss. kiss. Oh, look at that. Bye-bye. Oh, that's bad. Oh, come on. Wow. Mine had a pretty pretty good bone in his leg. Like a, that, was a, that was a big bone. <laughs> Maybe he was uh, training at your fitness. Yeah, he was doing some squats there. That was, <laughs> I mean, the flavor's good. Because mm -hmm. if I put it this way, here I'm putting his bum in my in first. But <laughs> yeah. then I don't, want to, like, I don't want to look at him while I'm eating it. Like, <laughs> right. There you go. <laughs> I'm slightly gagging a little bit, weirdly. Mm. Oh, here you are. Is it good? 
<coughs> there's so many weird things going on in my brain right now because like, it's not bad. Okay. But like what my brain did. Right. Like, like looking at his mouth and his guts. <laughs> it's like my brain's going, no, but then my mouth's going, no. <laughs> so much confusion. Right. Mm. <clears throat> okay. How's that? I feel like he's alive. He's like, stop it. And he's just like <laughs> punching, I don't know, the roof of my mouth and it's a little mm. bit painful. Mm. Alright, again, I like the legs. Mm -hmm. I'm sold on the legs. Mm -hmm. The body, again, I think what my brain did. You know, you see that when you give some food to someone and they kind of decide before they have it that they're not going to like it. And, like, yes. oh, and they take it and you're like, well, you're not going to like it if you do that. <laughs> and I've just done that to myself. As I was putting it in my mouth, I'm like, <laughs> and I was like, how am I supposed to enjoy it? So I kind of want to like take one quickly and. Is that better? It's not a way better experience, but also you're smaller, so there's a lot less of the guts to deal with. Yeah. Mm. Now, would you have that with a nice beer on a Friday evening after work? You got your beer, you got your frogs. Actually, I might. They kind of taste like jerky, like anything jerky. It could be pork jerky even, because there's that kind of like chewiness that's going on. It's not just crispy, mm. but there's some kind of like stretch to it. You're almost like if you got the pork scratchings and then the jerky and they kind of met in the middle somewhere. There we go. Right, and yeah. that's the key. No, I, I would actually eat those if they were only the small ones. Those bigger ones were not, they were not the best experience. I definitely preferred the, uh, the grasshoppers. So from a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate that? I'm going to have to put them into two categories. The smaller okay. ones, I'm going to put them at an 8. I'd okay. eat them. The, right. the bigger ones, just 3. I, I just, <laughs> it, when, when you look at its face, it's coming like, like smiling at you. It's, it's a, Come on, it's, he was being friendly. I'm, I feel the same way. If they actually took apart all the limbs and you know segregated the head or separated the head um i would give it a solid nine wow yeah solid there nine so they have to dismantle the entire thing for me to really enjoy it but when i see it as a kiet itself like the whole entire kiet yeah it kind of reduces down to seven yeah it's also just the fact that it's kind of like in that like ah, oh, i'm being fried position that it's in there, like, oh no and then you're looking at it thinking oh wow that's yeah <laughs> yeah Ooh, now that you said that, ooh, that, looks, that looks painful. All right, thank you so much, Mark, for joining me today and eating very exotic Thai flavors. I hope you enjoyed your experience. I want to say thank you for having me, but I'm not too sure because of what you put me through. So, yeah, thank you for having me, but not thank you for putting me through that. <laughs> All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed that, do give us a like. Also, if you have any suggestions on what our next challenge should be, then also leave them in the comments below. Until next time, guys. Bye. Bye. -bye.